peeps, it's Mama from Joe Mama here, and today we are playing our Skyblock Survival Series. And yes, I see that it's not responding. It'll kick back on here in a second. I didn't think that it would have taken that long. There it goes. And as you see now, we are back on... Ooh, the tree grew already. We are back on our Skyblock Survival Series. We're going to expand the platform today. Make our little island a little bit bigger. So we don't have to worry about constantly falling off, which this is actually night two. And I'm... Um, haven't died yet, so that's a plus. But because I have no wheat or no grass seed, I have to get my mob platform built faster than I would like. I was kind of hoping to save that, but I kind of need bone meal to get grass. So, we're going to collect some cobblestone. As you see, I have 35. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to collect a couple stacks of it. And I will be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. As you see, I've collected not much more. Oh, I, I collected over a stack. Um, and now we're going to cut down our tree. And then I'm going to put the mob landing that way. Why? Because the sun rises that way. And... It's just perfect. First thing in the morning, it burns all the mobs that are burnable. And I don't have to worry about them. All that back in there. Except for the creepers, of course. Gotta love them creepers. Which I do. I love the creepers, except for when I'm playing Minecraft. Then I really don't like them. I am in a... Oh no. Um, it's an easy mode. I'm the type that likes to play survival and peaceful. Just because of the creepers. Because, yeah, I've gotten a lot better with the controls as far as being able to move around and everything. As you see, I'm actually doing, you know, decent. But the moving back and the hitting at the same time in that. Yeah, I'm still pretty much a noob on that. So, they pretty much blow me up all the time. Or my island, anyways. Woohoo! Can we get an apple? Mama wants an apple! Alright, let's start heading out that way. We got two trees. We can watch that despan or despawn as we head out. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you get to listen to me counting. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, if I would have just paid attention to the stack, this would have been easier. That'll work. Okay. That'll work as far as getting out there. An apple! Yay! We're not going to starve to death. No. Wrong spot. There. 
Alright, so we'll put this and this away. I have to make a door. I do love the fact that zombies will not break down your door anymore. I love it. And all you need is a door then to stop them from terrorizing you. Okay, let's pick that up. Leave one in there. Those stay there. Those go up there. I need that, and I need the torches. Okay. Alright, so let's go out and start making that wider. You see it in the distance, guys? That is one of our islands. We actually have one that way, one that way, one that way, and one that way that I know of so far. Okay, so I want one, two, three, four, because this is actually going to end up being wider. Okay. So, how many over is that? One, two, three. It needs to be five from each. Four, five, six, six. Alright, and then that will be there. That'll be there. The door will be there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's head out this way now. Did I literally leave? Yeah, I did. Huh? Yeah. I'll fix that in a minute. I should have enough blocks to do this full platform. I'm hoping, anyways. At least get it really started. get off that crouch button my hands numb and then go right back on it again there we go and yes I do put a wall up on this platform because the skeletons like to shoot the bows at you and then eventually I'll end up putting a platform on it so that I can actually sit there and snipe the uh, creepers and that once I get my bow in. But for now, the door... Uh, ...will work. Let's get that up. Put that there. Put that there. That there. That there and there. Is that all the way to the edge? Yes. Okay. And then we'll go... There and there. Don't want to expand that just yet. Put our lap la 
pass blocks down. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would prefer the face cam because I have no problem doing face cam. I just uh, didn't know if maybe it would be a little less laggy if I didn't do face cam. Nicole, you know if you don't run, you're not going to use your hunger up. So, just walk. Alright, let's cut down the tree. Maybe we'll be lucky to get another apple. Kind of doubt it, but you never know. Alright, we'll put that in the chest. And we will start mining some more cobblestone. Do I have a walkway over here? Yes, I do. Okay. And this way I can see when they drop. Like that. And shift S That'll help for now. Even that little bit is better than nothing. Get a few more and I'll put a little wall there so I just can't th jump back on it. Because granted it would be funny. And it's going to be funny when I fail and die miserably. Because it's, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. It is going to happen. I am going to fall. I am going to die. And it will be hilarious. Okay, so we'll put that one there and that one there for now. Any more trees? Yep. Nice. That's two more. There we go. And we will collect some cobblestone. So have you guys ever done a skyblock survival? And if so, did you com fully complete it as far as were you able to go and kill the ender dragon? I'm not sure if it's possible. I know you're able to spawn animals. Of course you're able to do mods. Um... Without diamonds, though, I, I don't know. And I've heard that the zombies are supposed to drop iron, but it's not as likely as it seems. It actually takes a long time to get a zombie to drop iron. I, on my Skyblock trial run, I still have not gotten a zombie to drop any iron yet. And with it being uncontrollable as far as you can't change the mod mode, you can't do like keep inventory or stop fire spread, as you already seen. Um, yeah, in my other island, I actually burned the tree. It um, tried to catch my whole island on fire as far as the tree wise. The tree went up in smoke. It would kind of be nice if we could at least turn fire spread off but I guess with their survival you gotta worry about fire so we are now going on night three the sun sets on day three and we are now entering night three I know my platform is not big enough to spawn any Besides that, they're not far enough away. They have to be 20-some blocks away. 26, I believe, is what's in the... Let's see. Uh, 24. 24 blocks away. So we might actually get something out there tonight. And just hope it ain't a creeper. I guess I probably shouldn't make a sword up. 
one stick and two pieces of cobblestone. Oh my god. This gave me a heart attack. Sorry, dude. I heard the footsteps. I can't believe it. It's not light enough up here. Get these torches out. We got zombies spawning over there already. So I guess technically, um, that part is done. Because <laughs> the zombies do spawn. The mobs do spawn, so... I heard those footsteps, I was like, what? Oh, and there's a lovely little creeper. Nope, there. Look, it's a creepy. It's a creepy creeper. Hello, creeper. Yeah, you just stay right over there. Now to go back on this side of it. Put a torch up here, and one up here, eh, it's still night, we'll sit here and we'll mine some more until, I uh, might as well make my pickaxe now while I see it, just put that there, oh. I normally have it right next to it, so well, not right next to it, but in arm's reach, so that all I have to do is move my arm and click on it, but I see you over there, you creeper. I was wondering about that, how, if that path was too dark. I normally have the whole thing lit up. So they don't spawn on the path going out. I'll eventually end up putting a door. No. He's not behind the wall. As I was saying... I'll um, eventually end up putting a door here. What are you guys doing? I didn't put no torches on the outside. No. But they can't get around the door. So I'm safe for now. Well, that's good. With that skeleton right there, I definitely am getting... Hopefully, can't say definitely, but I'm um, hopefully he'll drop, when he dies, his bones will drop, and then I can get some seeds, hopefully. Stay there, Mr. Uh, skeleton, don't despawn. The creeper did. No, not the skeleton. Am I going to have to... Oh, there's another one. Crouch, walk out a little. <gasps> no! Nope. <laughs> How much of a little wuss did I just sound? No. See a spider? No. And he'll knock me off. No. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if you think face cam would be funnier, because I'm, I'm sure it will. Maybe the next video I'll do face cam just so that...
What up, peeps? It's Mama from Joe Mama here. And I wanted to add this little insert because as I was rendering this, for some reason, the last five to eight minutes of the video was messed up. The um, It was really staticky, and I'm not sure why, so now I have to check through the other two. And hopefully this is the only one I have to cut. So there might be a little bit from episode 1 to episode 2 that you're missing. Hopefully it ain't too bad, but that is what happened. Why episode 1 just cut out that way and you're seeing me here talking to you. That's what happened. So I had to cut like almost 10 minutes of it. Alright peeps, thanks for watching. If you like this, let us know by hitting that like button. If you're new and or recently just subscribed, let us know down in the comments. We'll give you a shout out. Talking about a shout out, Bros for Life, shout out to you. You've been commenting on our Minecraft story mode. You've been watching them. Thank you so very much. So this is a shout out to you, Bros for Life. Thanks, guys. Bye.